This is Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com, and I have Bruce Severance here with Sems and Company Builders. Correct. And you're all about healthy houses. I'm all about healthy houses and energy conservation. And what I'd like to talk about today is the pervasive problem with duct leakage. And the statistic is that in the United States, every house in the country on average is leaking 30% of the air that's pumped through the ducting in the house. That's a lot. It's a lot of air. So mm -hmm. you have a big forced air unit with a big blower. Mm -hmm. The air is getting pumped through the ducting. At least 30% is going out of the house before it ever reaches your living room. Now that by itself is not a big issue, except this has a significant health impact that most people don't know about. And that is that when you pump air out of the house, mm -hmm. the, air, the supply air has to come from somewhere. And right. most people, when they turn on the furnace, don't open all the windows. Right. So as a result, the air, the supply air that comes back into the house is coming from the attic and from the crawl space. 40% comes from the crawl space, if there is a crawl space. Mm -hmm. The rest comes from the attic. Mm -hmm. And these are places in the house that are known to have carcinogens. Uh, fiberglass is a suspected carcinogen. Asbestos mm -hmm. is a known carcinogen. Mm -hmm. There's usually rats in a cellar mm -hmm. underneath the house somewhere. Yeah. There's rat feces, there's mold. So these are not yeah, pretty, so pretty things to suck into your house. And you're in, you're in yourself, because you're breathing that, is what exactly. you're saying. If it's and, something's and the, going on, you have to get the air somewhere, and you're breathing this kind of air. Exactly, and this correlates with a 75% increase in asthma rates over the last 20 years. So oh, there's, okay. there's some significant correlation. It's not like this is causing that. Right. But you've got a pretty it's good idea that this is a health problem. Mm -hmm. And th there's studies, the, the most significant thing that proves that this is a problem is the Lawrence Berkeley Lab. If you Google Lawrence Berkeley Lab duct tape, there mm -hmm. are analyses that are available, sponsored by the Department of Energy, and this mm -hmm. is a well-known problem that's been documented. The fact that it impacts indoor air quality as much as it does it is not very well known. The okay. biggest, most significant threat to health is that when you depressurize the house, if you have naturally drafted appliances, a water heater that does not have a fan that blows the exhaust out of the mm -hmm. flue, you're going to suck air back down that flue. Okay. When you turn your furnace on and your water heater's on, someone's mm -hmm. in the shower, you're sucking carbon monoxide into the house and you don't even know you're doing it. Right, okay. And so 25% of the homes that have been uh, uh, tested for energy by energy auditors in San Luis Obispo County, 25% uh -huh. are testing positive for unhealthy levels of carbon monoxide. It's a staggering number. Wow. It's likely that that problem is nationwide. Right. It's likely this is a nationwide problem yeah. and an international problem. Right. So the key thing is, Duct tape has not lived up to its name. It has utterly failed. Any uh -huh. house built before about 2008 has this problem. Okay. Everybody's house has this problem. Okay, so, ugh, wow. So basically, it's the fix is easy, though. It's like a $500 fix, approximately. Yeah, depending on the house. I'd you say know? You know, between four and $700. You uh -huh. can get all the, the ducting fixed. Uh -huh. You can get it, uh, new duct tape applied. And while uh -huh. you're there, you should definitely not put the old insulation back on and put uh -huh. R8 value or R10 value insulation because right. it pays for itself very quickly in energy savings. Uh -huh. You're going to increase the efficiency of your home with higher payback uh -huh. per dollar invested, higher return on, on investment than just about anything else you can do to your house. And you'll be a lot healthier. And you'll be a lot healthier. You know, if you have asthma or breathing yeah. problems, get your ducts taped. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're saying. I, and open your windows. <laughs> absolutely. And yeah. the, the other piece of the, the puzzle here is that there is a new technology with heat recovery ventilators that mm -hmm. will create a balanced system where you're pumping air out and, and uh, bringing air in at the same rate. So you mm -hmm. have two fans and you're using the exhaust air, the air going out of the house to uh -huh. preheat the air that's coming in. So you're pumping fresh air into the house without losing heat. What a brilliant okay. idea. Yeah, that is a brilliant and idea. And these are fairly affordable units. Those mm -hmm. generally cost between 300 for a small bathroom unit size uh -huh. unit up to 5,000 to do a big house. Yeah. But you, you, there's minimum ventilation requirements that if you're not meeting a, a building performance inspector, mm -hmm. EPI certified inspector yeah. would be able to, to tell you this. And having an HRV can solve a lot of those asthma and indoor air quality respiratory problems that yeah. you have as and well. It's, it's more important than you know. It's, it's like you were saying in the, at the meeting today, 
It's like you ask the second question you ask about the car is how much mileage do you get and your house, really how much mileage do you get energy efficient and health, more than anything health efficient because if you get sick, you're done for, you know, and that's the reality here. So you're really promoting health in your house. Well, it, and it's a win-win. Uh, a lot of things that you might invest in that improve your health mm -hmm. don't have a return on investment. This happens to have an energy savings. Yeah. Where the, the energy savings literally pay for the investment within two, three, four years at very most. Yeah. And it's a very worthwhile thing to do. Even if uh -huh. you're reselling the house, yeah. the statistics are that the, this kind of work pays off. And if you're disclosing to the buyer that you've done this kind of work, mm -hmm. houses that have this kind of work done to them are selling for 20 to 30 percent more than houses that don't because people are energy and health conscious and they care about these things. So if I want to get my house um, prepared and ready and cleaned up, basically cleaned up so I'm healthy and I get energy efficient, where do I call? What do I do? Do I call well, your company or do I call, what do you do? I, I'm not going to direct you to, to my company okay, specifically. but do you, do you uh, call it? Here, here, I'm going to answer the question. Okay, sorry. If you're in California, go to Energy Upgrade California. Uh -huh. uh, there's a website there that lists all the BPI certified contractors that can apply for up to a $4,000 grant to help pay for this. Oh, cool. So okay. th it, it wouldn't be free by the time you're done because the grant only pays a percentage, but the grant will pay a significant portion, depends on what you need and what you have to do to your house. So there are grants available. Uh -huh. And whether or not they're listed on the EUC, the Energy Upgrade California website, you mm -hmm. need a Building Performance Institute uh -huh. certified contractor. That's usually okay. a general contractor or an HVAC contractor okay. that's been BPI certified, Building Performance Institute certified. Okay, great. And they perform energy audits and they look at indoor air quality issues and minimum ventilation requirement issues and, and help you solve this problem if you have it. Okay, and does that cost money when they come out to take a look? Yeah, usually an energy audit on a smaller house is going to be about 300 and maybe on a bigger house it might be six. So it, de okay. it depends on the house and how accessible things are. No, I see. Okay. BPI is much more thorough than your usual real estate home inspection. Okay. Much more thorough. Well, there's a lot they, to look at, though. They bring out yeah. engineering equipment, they run calculations, mm -hmm. they use infrared cameras so they can see where the leakage is. Uh -huh. It's a very thorough investigation uh -huh. of what's going on with your home and indoor air quality. It's very well worth the investment. Yeah, well, nice, nice. So, Bruce, you're all about health and energy efficient, and that's good. It's all good. It's so, a win-win. Yeah, so what's your contact information? Uh, I can be reached at SEMS company, and we're at uh, SEMSCO.com, uh, S-E-M-M-E-S-C-O.com. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. This is Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.